Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The excitement this week is MBAA 2015. The Learjet 75 sets a new transcontinental record. FAA certifies Aspen Avionics L3 ADSB. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 16th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. All eyes are on Las Vegas and the Las Vegas Convention Center as the business aviation industry counts down the days to the 68th edition of the National Business Aviation Association's Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition starting on Tuesday. About 26,000 business aviation professionals are expected to attend what is indisputably the most important industry event of the year. Because the MBAA annual convention is so important, ANN is there in force and has already started to put together programming that will bring you all the important news of business aviation as it happens. MBAA is the place to be, but if you can't make it in person, let us bring it to you. A Bombardier Learjet 75 aircraft has set a world speed record in its class, flying round trip between New York and Los Angeles. The flight, piloted by two members of Bombardier's Flight Operations Demonstration Team, was staged to mark the 50th anniversary of Clay Lacey's 1965 record-setting transcontinental round-trip flight. The flight is currently awaiting approval from the National Aeronautic Association. Once validated, the NAA will submit the record to the Federation Aeronautique for international ratification. The attempt, which took place last week and followed the original 4,946-mile route, but in reverse, beat Lacey's flying time by 17 minutes. Lacey's original flight in a Learjet 23 aircraft made aviation history marking the first time a business jet made a round-trip flight across the U.S. between sunrise and sunset on the same day. The Learjet name has been synonymous with business jet aviation since the first Model 23 was introduced in 1964, and this flight proves that Lear still has the right stuff. After the break, the Aspen Avionics L3 Lynx is certified. True Blue Power Advanced Lithium Ion Mainship Batteries feature proprietary nanophosphate technology. They deliver three times the energy density and are more than 40% lighter than lead acid or NICAD alternatives. RTCA tested, FAA certified, available to OEMs today. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The FAA has certified Aspen Avionics ADSB integrated solution that interfaces Aspen's Evolution primary and multifunction displays with L3's Lynx NGT9000 and NGT2500 systems. The interface includes the display of ADSB weather and traffic data onto the Aspen displays. Additionally, Lynx NetGen active traffic from the NGT9000 Plus model will display active traffic advisory system targets. Mark Ferrari, Vice President Sales and Customer Support, said in part, quote, What we are seeing now is that customers are shifting their focus from the question of what is ADSB to researching their options of how they get the most benefits from the mandate, end quote. L3 Aviation Products' Larry Riddle added, quote, and current Aspen owners can easily become ADSB compliant by replacing their old transponder with a Lynx NGT9000 and have more situational awareness than many jet and air transport aircraft flying today, end quote. Each week, we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off of Atlanta. 
What used to be science fiction appears to be reality, as the world's only true jetpack carries its inventor around the Statue of Liberty. Search World's Only Jetpack on YouTube. After these messages, the GoGo Connectivity Company reaches a milestone. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. For passengers, air travel used to mean being disconnected while in flight, but now that's changed. The connectivity company GoGo hit a significant milestone this month as the company now has 2,500 commercial aircraft flying with its connectivity solutions. The Indian Air Force at the Air Force Academy in Dunjagal has taken delivery of the 75th Pilatus PC Mark II training aircraft. The introduction of the PC-7 Mark II training system has enabled the IAF to revolutionize their basic pilot training capability. EASA has now drafted regulations that will allow single-engine turbine-powered aircraft to be used in a commercial aircraft transport operation. Europe is the last major aviation region of the world that does not permit widespread commercial operations in single-engine airplanes. In the last 18 months, Duncan Aviation has completed a total of 55 sea inspections for all Dassault Falcon model aircraft at its Lincoln, Nebraska and Battle Creek, Michigan facilities. The sea inspection is the most comprehensive inspection for Falcon aircraft. Honeywell Aerospace has signed a contract to supply its next generation ATS-900 engine to Marinko Swiss helicopter. The engine is to be installed in the new Marinko Sky E SH-09 helicopter. This is the first production aircraft agreement for the new Honeywell engine. Well that's it for today's trip around the patch, now let's move on to the rest of the news. It was announced in a press release from the 2016 U.S. Sport Aviation Expo that following on its successful EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2015 AirVenture Innovation Preview, Aero News Network will produce a promotional online preview video collaboration in advance of their event in January of next year, emphasizing all that is new, innovative, and exciting in the sport aviation spectrum. This programming will highlight the new products and services that various exhibitors will be sharing with visitors to the Sebring Expo. Of course, we at ANN knew this was coming, but now it's official for everyone to know. The U.S. Sport Aviation Expo has joined our airborne innovation programming, we call it the AIP, and they are only the first of the 2016 series to be officially announced as we approach the year 2016. U.S. Sport Aviation Expo Director Jana Phillips said, quote, We're excited for the Expo exhibitors to work with Jim and the ANN team to provide the same level of visibility for both their companies and the Expo, end quote. Even more partners are coming aboard our AIP program, and you'll hear more about this in the coming months. 2016 is just around the corner, and the Sport Aviation Expo is a perfect place to kick off the new year. You can also expect to see us at the Aviation Electronics Association Convention and Sun and Fun, just to mention a few. And yes, we said Sun and Fun. The AIP is our commitment to give aviation the voice it deserves. The United States Army has exercised $65.8 million in contract options for 12 additional UH-72A Lakota helicopters and associated mission equipment packages. The UH-72A is manufactured by Airbus Helicopters at its final assembly plant in Columbus, Mississippi, which has already produced and delivered almost 350 Lakotas to date. 
The UH-72A was selected in 2006 for a broad range of active Army and Army National Guard missions, including training, search and rescue, medical evacuation, border security, command and control, VIP transport, and general utility. The Lakota is a twin-engine helicopter that is a powerful, stable, and agile platform with a glass cockpit that is compatible with night vision goggles. It is also single pilot instrument flight rule certified. It's reportedly the lowest cost to buy, own, and operate of any U.S. military helicopter in production. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.